A century ago, a cornerstone laid in Bennington, Vermont, marked the first symbol of a community hospital that would grow to become one of the most regarded health systems in the nation. Then, as now, an undeniable spirit of progress and a belief in providing exceptional care and comfort continued to propel Southwestern Vermont Healthcare forward. As decades passed and as the nation dealt with influenza, depression, and war, the little community hospital on the hill never stopped advancing. New leadership and compassionate team members pushed forward with zest and dynamism. And today, technology, new models of care, and powerful partnerships are continuing to transform our health system in the 21st century and beyond. Here's to the next 100 years. What I love about this place is really the quality of the people, from the board, the medical staff, the employees, the clinical staff. It's a great place to be. The quality of life here is, is remarkable. You know, it doesn't get much better than being here. The culture of our health system is one that's very focused on the patient. It's a patient-centered culture. It's one which um, really emphasizes excellence at all levels of the organization. The culture in the Cancer Center at SBMC is really taking care of the whole patient. We try and provide care not only for the patient as far as their medical care, but also their psychological care, their social care, and also for their caregivers. The affiliation with Dartmouth has really kept us on the forefront of watching where our technology is going as far as making advancements and investments in the future to be able to provide the kind of care to our patients that we want to. What impressed us from the beginning and what made us, my husband and my three daughters, most comfortable was that right from the beginning we could have the entire family involved in all the information back and forth. And I, I keep going back to this concept that cancer takes over your life, even when you don't think it, you've allowed it to take, to take over your life. But it, my treatment became no bigger a deal than anything else that's a routine part of my day was. It didn't interfere with my life. Now the whole experience at Southwestern Vermont Medical Center is so personal. It's almost cozy. I mean, it's a community cancer center, if you will, as well as a community hospital. There is something, and I'm a small town girl, so that I like, I like knowing the names of the people who are behind the counter in stores. And it's the same concept down there. I like knowing the names of the people who are behind those windows. And hey, Susie, how are you when you come in? It's not that I'm important and need to be known. It's I'm a person. I'm not just a person with cancer. We're an organization that is, has over 1,400 people, but it's still very much a family. The community is very close-knit. The families that come in are often the families that we have known from previous encounters, uh, and also we know them from the community. When folks come in to deliver, they are not coming in as patients coming in to deliver, but as neighbors and friends who are coming in to have an important moment in their lives. One of the special moments that we had with Dr. Small was after my third daughter Sloan was born. It was about three in the morning and everyone was very tired and it was after the nurses had left and we just sat in the room. It was very dark. It was quiet. It was like having a sister there. Uh, it was a moment I'll always remember. Jennifer McKenna is a remarkable individual. Her family is a remarkable family. They are the kind of folks that our community is built on. An experience that we had that really captures the spirit of both the community and the hospital would have been after our fourth daughter was born. Jennifer wasn't feeling well, and uh, as soon as I walked through the door, she handed the baby to me and she gave a call over to Dr. Small's office. And since it was at the end of the day, Dr. Small said, look, I'm wrapping up here. I'm gonna be heading home. You guys are on my way home. How about I just stop by and uh, take a look at things? She arrived about 45 minutes later. She brought us dinner. She sat the family at the table. She had Brian take over. She took me upstairs. She gave me an examination. She let me know that I was okay. She let me know what I needed to do. 
when you leave the hospital, you're not alone. The physicians and the nurses are there for you all the time. And that's very reassuring, especially when you have a family with small children. One of the transformations we have in our health system is telemedicine. Telemedicine is through the efforts and partnership of Dartmouth-Hitchcock, I think will be a game changer. It's given us access to some of the best specialists in the Northeast and have them evaluating the patients in our emergency department. And that was just not possible even two years ago. So now if someone comes into the SVMC emergency room with a stroke, not only will they get great care by the bedside SVMC ER team, but one of our board certified neurologists can join the team via high def audio visual and can talk to the patient, can talk to their family, can talk to the bedside team, and if indicated, can oversee and supervise its administration. At SVMC, we plan to have telemedicine throughout our practices so that if a patient gets referred to a specialist, they won't have to travel to see that specialist, but can do so in the convenience of their own doctor's office. I think the affiliation with Dartmouth-Hitchcock is probably one of the most important things we've done, and I think it allows us to still be independent and give the level of care and the personal level of care that, that we do. Partnerships are really important for academic medical centers. Southwestern Vermont Medical Center is actually a really interesting organization. First of all, they're a four-time magnet winner, which is phenomenal. You know, their shared values of really commitment to great patient care. Partnering with them to identify services, to do joint recruitments, has been really successful for both our practice in the area, for the hospital, and for Dartmouth-Hitchcock. I couldn't imagine a better partner to have. Having an opportunity to work with a world-class medical center, one which has a vast array of talented physicians and other practitioners working with us, bringing their intellectual capital, and it's helping to make us really one of the top preeminent small rural systems in the country. We recognize the pivotal importance of Southwest Vermont, and I've been very fortunate to be involved with Southwestern Vermont for a number of years now. I serve on the Putnam Board, and it allows us to partner with a system to be able to kind of share programs, to develop new programs, to, and to partner through telehealth opportunities. This is not your typical small rural hospital. This is an exceptional place, a place that we have great talent and great compassion. We may not be the biggest healthcare system or the newest healthcare system, but in terms of the level of care we provide to our patients, we're one of the best healthcare systems. Southwestern Vermont Healthcare, a century of caring continues. <laughs>